Good afternoon. We're learning more about the downtown brawl that involved Lobo football players. Only three players were involved in the fight. They were out with 10 of their fraternity brothers. News 13's Katie Kim has been following the story and has the latest from the Newsplex. Jessica, those three players are Julian Conley, Joe Harris, and Bryant Williams. Police found and arrested Conley early yesterday morning after the fight at the Lotus nightclub. University officials tell us they have a strict policy forbidding football players from hanging out in the downtown area. And safe to say, they're taking action. For club goers, it was an early start to the long Thanksgiving weekend. For three players and 10 of their fraternity brothers, fans say it was a lapse in judgment. Junior Julian Conley, sophomore Joe Harris, and senior Bryant Williams were involved in a bloody brawl early yesterday morning. Lotus nightclub employees told police the fight started over a fake ID. The group of men were standing in line to get into the downtown 18 and over club. Two of the men handed a bouncer IDs with the same name. Both IDs pictured Conley. When the bouncer refused to return the cards, employees told police the group of 13 got physical. The criminal complaint shows the men punched, hit, and kicked at least five employees, including a woman, leaving several of the bouncers bruised and bleeding. By the time police arrived, most of the men had scattered. Conley was arrested while he was running down the street. Coach Mike Loxley is handling the matter. He says the football team has, quote, a very clear set of rules and policies in place, and there are consequences whenever there's a violation of team rules. This latest run-in with the law has many Lobo football fans shaking their heads and losing faith. They need to be a role model. Any, any time, any athlete needs, all, always athletes need to be role models for the community and especially football players because generally football players are what you hear about the most. That's always what's on the news. It makes it hard to actually believe in the team and the moral of the sport if they're all doing wrong things like that. It's kind of disappointing. All three players will be suspended from tomorrow's big game against TCU. Coach Mike Loxley said the incident ends Harris's career as a Lobo because he's a senior. A source at UNM close to the athletic department also says Conley will most likely be dismissed from the team. Jess, back to you. Okay, Katie, Conley faces aggravated battery charges. He has since bailed out of jail. Police say the other members involved will be summoned to court.